one good thing that's happening for you and I think for us as viewers and as music lovers is that your show that was online on Slick On Life is yeah. now coming on our mm. TV yeah. screens. Talk to us about that. Channel Low, baby, we yeah. out here. It's really, really cool, man. Um, and it's it's quite a it's quite a thing because we're coming full circle. I remember, uh, I think four years ago, I pitched the show actually to Channel Low. And it was funny, um, it, I, I, at the time it was like so hard to explain. It was like, I'm gonna sit with rappers and I'm gonna talk to them about their raps. And through their raps, I'm gonna find out who they are and what they come from and what they're about, you know? And it was so hard to explain and then we started doing it. And then now that they actually really see the vision, you know, they said, actually, this is some good content to show yeah, the world. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, I think that the, the, the demand for content has changed. Yeah. Because music channels have literally only been about, like, just playing music. Yeah. It's very rare where you yeah. see, like, those cool content shows. Yeah. So it's really, really awesome that these slick on live shows. There's a few others that are going to be yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's mine, which is Rhymes and Reason, Catching Waves, which is Scoops 1, uh, Speedster in the Park, um, and then it's The Balconies. So some of wow. The balcony interviews that Slicker does. Amazing. Yeah. 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 Well, congratulations to the team, man. Ooh. And you, Miss LaJoy. Yeah. I kind of feel like I know you because I like watch you every week. <laughs> and I just kind of feel like the way you talk in your diary is like, oh, you seem some so. <laughs> I, think, I think that's what people think. Like, it, that's what it does to, to, mm. to everyone. They, they like watch you for an hour and they feel like, damn, I know her. Yeah. That's why it's so easy for someone to say, you're a bully. And someone will say, flip, I love your energy. I love how bold you are. Yeah. So I, I, I think, yeah, we put our lives out there that people genuinely, like they just take in everything mm -hmm. and they feel like Bona Kiaut Seba and yeah. that's it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the last time we saw you on screen was at the, at the finale. The and for reunion. some reason, I just yeah. kind of thought you were going to come in here with that same energy. But uh, it's not that, like we, that, We're not right? done. Remember, we, we have to yeah. tonight, honey, yeah. right after this. So it's we we, we back again. But then I think at the same time, you can't be repeating yourself over certain things. Um, I'm one to say, I said it and I'm not going to change my words. So yeah. it's true. Yeah. Unless if you want me to, to, to go on and show you how... Oh, truthful no. and we know you can take that's it that's what i'm saying right, you know down, so do you down, want man. me to it's go on and on and <laughs> on and be <laughs> repeating the same thing i'm not gonna do that it's not a lie it's what it's that it's it is what it is so what was it like though doing the real housewives of johannesburg season two what was your overall experience i think i grew to know my strength more uh i mean you are you're like with this woman they've got different views different opinions but when you step inside the room, I, I, I understood what Litavo, who Litavo is and what I am for and what I believe in and I never changed. Mm. So it, it actually opened my eyes to say, this is you and, and it is me and I, I can't do anything about it. The best way is just to, to accept myself and move on the way I am and yeah. just say, look, well, That's who it. you are brought us a lot of joy. <laughs> so thank you for doing the show. It was really, really amazing. When are you joining the show? Oh, yes, when are you coming? I, I, <laughs>